Hello. Okay, so we're about to start. So let's take sit. So I think people will be a little bit late today. So rainy weather. So we, we went extremes for, from very hot to a little bit rainy. So welcome. Okay. So today we have in the morning keynote lectures and also want to do some small announcements. So first, thank you very much to all our sponsors and please go and visit the, the exhibition room. Today's raining, so kind of we're forcing you to have an indoor lunch, so you have to visit then. So let me do some announcements. The first one, best poster, okay? You vote, and here we have the winner. So the first place, Elisa Viajoli, second place, Bernardo Pacini, is third place, uh, Mattia Griezmann. Griezmann. Uh, remember, you vote, they're all Italian, okay? So you vote. Uh, so congratulations to all of you, your prize, bragging rights, okay? Congratulations to all of you, okay? In particular to Elise, I think I was a member of her PhD thesis. I really liked it when I was there and it was a nice poster, okay? So now let's move to open funny numbers. I love numbers and statistics. So we have a total number of attendees 283, we were, we were not expecting this at all. We were expecting a half that number, 111 online, 15 online grants. On of those 15, seven are presented online. And again, thank you very much to all of the sponsors. Thanks to their support, we were able to offer those grants. So we have a total of 394 uh, attendees. So it was a logistical nightmare. I'm quite happy that it's almost done. So I will answer again the, the question that Orf asked me if I will do another workshop. So the first day I say yes, today I will say no. It has been crazy, but a nice experience. So regarding gender equality, it still is a XY chromosome dominate and dominated war, but this is a good number. 20, 22% of the participants is female participants so they are just growing in the community and i want to point out the winner of the poster was a female participant okay so take care the male community so now talking about attendees by country so usually germany comes in mass this year italy so again italian community we have bragging rights 66 participants germany 48 uk follow 31 then we have us 21, France is coming into the tally, 19, and a special mention to the community, Japan, Korea, we aggregate them together and we have 19. So we have participants from all over the world, from as far as New Zealand, raise your hands, you're from New Zealand. Okay, Nicolas, no? We need to talk later. <laughs> okay, so now we move to presentations also, we receive a large number of presentations. So that's why the agenda yesterday was crazy, six parallel sessions. So 161 oral presentations, 23 posters, great numbers, a lot of research being done with open phone. We receive more than 200 asterisks and to be precise, 232 asterisks. So, but due to logistic reasons, we have to cut a little bit in the number of uh, presentations that we accepted. A reminder to all present presenters, oral and poster in person or online, you are invited to submit your contribution to any of the publications that we have. So we have the Open Fund Journal, Mechanical Journal, and IOP Conference Series, okay? So I think there is a representative from IOP here. Yes, we have it there. So please, follow the guidelines in open phone workshop page so we're going to update it likely next week so please you are invited and let's publish our work okay so presentation by topic this is very interesting because now i remember the first open phone workshop that i went everything was about turbulence aerodynamics hydrodynamics today we fully understand that. So now we're moving to more specific topics and it's very interesting because it's challenging problems. We are trying to solve actual problems and future problems, environments. So if we aggregate everything and we look at civil and wind engineering, coastal engineer, offshore applications and biofluid, all of them take for take account for a, something a little bit more than 50%. Okay, so that's a great no trend that we're trying to solve problems and then 
aerodynamics and those applications a small percentage. Also, well, you know that machine learning is taking everything by, by a store. So we have many presentations in, in machine learning and also a special mention to combustion today. Everything, everybody talks about electrification, but combustion is still efficient and there is a lot of research done there. Uh, well, the multi-phase, we had 20, 20 presentations. So it took the first place, then through a structured interaction 14 and HPC, I guess that is the momentum of the exaphone project. And biofluids, okay. And by the way, in biofluids, I didn't add any of the presentation for the validation challenge. Okay, so this is outside, not counting validation challenge. So I put there will be 15 presentation on biofluid. A uh, big thank you to all chairmen, chairpersons for keeping the agenda in time. We still have two more days. Uh, we have four uh, X, y, XX chromosomes there, okay, four female uh, <clears throat> chairperson. And also big thank you to Ivan, Ivan Spisa, where is Ivan? He's not here. Okay, he's the man, he's chairing eight sessions. So thank you very much, Ivan. He's sharing all the sessions in HPC. He's the, chair, uh, the chairman of the technical committee in HPC. So big thank you to Ivan. And now always we do this announcement. So where will be the next open phone workshop? So this is the moment. So some drums here. Take care. So please. Okay, so uh, I'm here on behalf of Professor Zhu Chen from Peking University. Uh, we are really happy to be announced as the next host for the OpenFoam workshop. And we are really happy because this would be the first international conference held by Peking University since the border has been reopened. And we've got really extensive OpenFoam community, the research area that could cover almost all aspects and the campus with really brilliant set scenes. So welcome everyone to Beijing next summer. Fantastic, I'm looking forward to being there. So thank you very much. Okay, so now let's move to technical stuff. Okay, so let me introduce, oh, that was fast. We did it in eight minutes. So one thing that probably you might be wondering, some people ask me, this is strange gap, we finish 1150. It's just to take into account any unforeseen situation like in today. So we're going to do it in time still, so don't worry. So now we have our,